Okay guys, so you have an issue with your Samsung phone. It really doesn't matter what kind of Samsung phone you have, or it could even be a Samsung tablet. Basically you have a phone where nothing is turning on, you think it's totally dead, or it's in a boot loop, or it's consistently restarting, or maybe you, you can uh, see like a little blue light flash in here, or maybe you can see some of the lights down here, or maybe you can hear it, but you can't see no screen either. Well, I'm going to give you a lot of suggestions that you can do to get your phone up and running or tablet. Now, the thing is, um, I'm going to give you a lot of suggestions, but some of them doesn't pertain to, to some of the tablets or phones. So, for instance, like one of the one of the steps is, would be to change to put a new battery in here. Uh, the S6 doesn't come uh, with, a, with a removable battery. Also, if you um, another step is going to be you have to take out your SD card. Uh, again, the S6 it doesn't come with the SD card. So let's start off, okay? And this that I'm using here as an example, I think this is a Galaxy, a Galaxy S4. So first thing is get your laptop and computer, plug it in with the power adapter, plug it in like this. Oops, I'm sorry. First thing you wanna do is crack the back. And what you wanna do is you wanna pop out your SD card if you have one in there. I don't have one in here, but if you do, go ahead and pop that SD card out. Now, Plug in your phone. And now what you want to do is you want to hold down the two buttons simultaneously, the volume down button and the power button and hold it for 15, 10 to 15 seconds. Okay, so one, two, three. I'm going to hold it, click it, hold it down 10, 15 seconds. Uh, if, hopefully you hear it vibrate or your phone will turn on, you hear some kind of noise and hopefully your phone is back up and running. If not, no big deal, let's go to the next step. Leave it just as it is, except this time, instead of the holding the down, down volume, what you wanna do is hold the up volume. The up volume and the power button simultaneously for 15 seconds, okay? One, two, three. Hold it for 10, 15 seconds, and hopefully you hear your phone, or you feel your phone vibrate, or you hear some kind of sound, or you can see your phone turns on. If it does, great. If not, don't worry, we're gonna to go to the next step. Okay, so the next step, make sure your phone is uh, turned off. This time you want to hold three buttons simultaneously. You want to hold the up volume, the power button, and the home button, same time, okay? Now the thing is, depending on what Samsung phone you have, the uh, it may be a little bit different. Uh, but this, like I said, this is Samsung S4, and I'm gonna go ahead and hold these three buttons simultaneously, one, two, three, and I'm gonna hold it, and I'm gonna wait to the, uh, the blue letters come in the top left hand corner and then I'm gonna let go of the power button like this. Okay, now if for instance, if you have like a Galaxy S6, you basically hold all three buttons down until this little Android guy, guy pops up. So depending on your phone, it's gonna be a little bit different uh, to get into the system uh, recovery options menu here. Okay, once we're here, what we wanna do is, it's already on the default, it says, uh, System, reboot system now. Leave it on system reboot now. Go ahead and just click on uh, the power button to select it. Now remember guys, I have, I have uh, a lot more options coming up. So if you can't figure out how to get into the system recovery option right now, don't worry about it. Just keep continuing to go to the other easier steps. And um, obviously if the easier steps don't work, then you wanna go back to the video and you, you wanna have to figure out how to get into your actual uh, system recovery mode. Okay, now what you want to do from here is, I mean, hopefully your phone is back up and running. If it's not, don't worry about it. We're going to go to the next step now, okay? This time what we're going to do is we're going to wipe the cache partition, okay? Now just remember, wiping the cache partition, you're not going to lose any data on your phone, okay? We're not doing a factory reset. We're simply wiping the cache. Basically, the, uh, the cache is just basically temp uh, temporary files. So let me go ahead and boot this phone back off. And we're going to go back into the system recovery uh, options menu. So again, it's going to be the volume up button, the power button, and the, uh, the home button simultaneously. So let me wait for this phone to boot down. Okay, one, two, three, press and hold. Now remember, once you see that little blue thing on the top left-hand corner, let go of the power button. Okay, boom, let go. Now I'm just gonna wait for the Android guy to pop up. And remember, depending on what phone you have, it may be a little bit different way to access the uh, 
the system uh, recovery options menu. Okay, so this time we're here. And this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the volume down button to sc scroll down and we're gonna go down to where it says wipe cache partition, okay? And to select it, you're gonna push the power button here. So I'm gonna go ahead and push that. And hopefully that resolves your problem. If it doesn't, it's okay. We're gonna to go to the next step. Okay. Okay, so let me go ahead and power down my phone again. Just wait for this to boot up. And I'll power down. Okay, now this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold three buttons down, but instead of holding the up volume, this time we're gonna hold the down volume, okay? So down, uh, down volume, power button, and the home button. Wait for the phone to shut off. And one, two, three, I'm just gonna click and hold till the screen pops up, it's fast, much fa uh, quicker. I'm gonna let go, and it says here, volume down to cancel, restart phone. Go ahead and push the volume down. Let your phone reboot, and hopefully your phone is back up and running. However, if it's not, we still have two more steps to go, guys. And these steps here are going to be really easy. Okay. Now, let me tell you about a lot of these Samsung phones. A lot of these phones have issues with the power button. I mean, all my phones, my S5 did, my S6, my S3, they have all had issues with the power button. And let me show you what to do. Basically, I call this the smack method, okay? What you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and shut your phone off. And you see what the power button is? Basically, you want to smack it because something's like stuck in there. Something is, is not correct. It, it's, it's stuck somehow. So I got a book here, and what you want to do is hit that power button, kind of smack that on there, and then go ahead and try to put your phone back on. If it doesn't work, go ahead and try to smack it again. Uh, go ahead and smack it a little harder. See if it works. If it doesn't, then try this. Try to push in and out as fast as you can really hard. Try to get that like unloosed. Just keep playing with it, keep playing with it. Keep going for a while. Hopefully your phone turns back on. Now if it doesn't, the last step that I can suggest to you guys is you have a bad battery. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it would ever be the battery. Believe me, I've had two of my Samsung S phones where the issue was simply the battery. The only thing I did was take out one of my batteries and put it in my Spare in there and bam, it popped right back on. Now, if you guys still have issues or anything, just comment below and I'll see if I can help you guys. And that's pretty much it. If you guys subscribe, that'll be great too. Thanks.